So now I think I implemented video box properly because um, what I did is I followed the online uh, tutorial or not the tutorial just the instructions over there and I first added that video box link and I made sure I added it as a valid HTML 4.01 link and didn't put that forward slash business at the end of it uh, and I also linked to those three JavaScript files, the MooTools, SwiftObject.js, and VideoBox. Um, and as, as far as I know, the instructions didn't tell me to do anything more than that, so, you know, theoretically, I should be able to get these to go. I mean, is there anything more over here? It's Well, there you go. It says that there's a link to it, and the only thing I have to add at this point is this caption over here, and here it says, our video. So, um, well, let me just try linking that to some text. How about that? Uh, what is this YouTube video? I wonder if this thing actually, well, let's see. Hang on. I'm, I'm kind of not sure where to start over here. Let me just get this whole paragraph, and I'm going to link this paragraph to uh, this YouTube video over here. So let's see how this works. I'll save it and uh, yeah, let me preview this. Okay, look at this. So here it is. And I am just going to click on here and it takes me there. Okay, so that works. Um, but now I need to add. Uh, some line to that link, this rel vid box to get it to open up in the video in the video but with the video box plugin. So let me add that to my link. So here's the anchor tag, and I'm going to put it. Um, let me put it after the link. So there we go, vid box. Come on, baby. It would be cool if it just worked, wouldn't it? Wow, very cool. That was actually way more simple than um, than Lightbox was because I had to mess around with uh, all those you know JavaScript files and images and all that. But then again, I may have had if I was implementing this first, I may have had to do that anyway. I didn't even realize it. So um, very cool, very cool. Uh, let's see one other thing is I saw that Video Box had. Um, some other features it said and it said you can change the dimensions of the video by adding to that rel some there are the pixel values that you may want it to be and also of course if you add the title to it you can add a caption so well why don't I give that a try I'm just gonna um, let's see you know I'll add the rel I'll add the um, the 800 by 600 there and for the title uh, let me just add whatever the title of the of the YouTube video is uh, I know it's supposed to be my aquarium but uh, whatever uh, so I'll go right here I'll add title and I'll paste it and now it would be cool if this works ooh look at that it's way bigger, 800 by 600, and look at that, I got the caption to work as well. Hey, success with uh, relatively little effort.